find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, today I've got a very quick review for you, which hopefully will give you all the information you need to know about this as a sort of first look sort of review, because I just don't have time to like even set up my background right, right now. I've literally just put my camera in front of the mirror and hopefully you guys find this review uh, still, you know, useful and, and uh, helpful. And then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll put together like a full on review with lots of various footage and whatever in the future when I have time, like maybe in a month or two when I can. Right now, I just don't have time to edit a review together. So, uh, OK, this is the new um, motor kit from Canova. And I really, really love this kit. I'm really excited about this. And uh, so um, so I just wanted to post something, uh, you know, right now. And so, uh, okay, so this kit is uh, really awesome and compact and it works really well. And I, I sold my um, smart motion controller and my, my other, my complete other kit. And um, I got this one instead with a few motors to try the different speeds. And uh, I love this kit. It's so compact and so fast to set up. Setup time is literally 30 to 50 seconds like from the bag, I think like one minute opening the zips of the bag and, and all that stuff, like one minute. So really, really quick. So basically what you've got is you just, literally you screw that onto there, that screws there. Uh, and this is the motor, which, uh, let me unscrew that. So that screws onto there like that, so that's the motor. And uh, the, the cable just connects at either side. So it's kind of awkward doing it from this angle. Uh, but then, you know, these connect at the side. And uh, if I can find where that is. And that's it. And then you and then you plug in the cable. The cable, uh, so that's the unit with the battery at the back. You can use various kinds of batteries. You can use the Canova battery kit, uh, which is, um, you know, it's a, bit, it's a bit too big for me. Like I wanted a really, really compact setup. So I'm just using an AA battery holder. Uh, but you can use uh, like a 12 volt battery. Like you can get like really nice small ones that are even smaller than what I have right here. Um, so uh, I'm just using rechargeable AA batteries. And um, that's it. I literally, that's it. That's the setup. You screw this on and you screw these to the sides and you plug the cable in. And uh, so it's it's a tiny, tiny kit and um, and works really nicely and it's insanely fast to set up. So uh, let me show you how this works. So we've got, uh, that's the motor controller. Let's get that in focus, okay. So we've got uh, two controls here. We've got a uh, control for the adjustment of the speed for the pan tilt head, if you're using the pan tilt head, which I'm not gonna be using, just it's too big for me to take for most shoots. And uh, I, uh, you know, even though it creates some really lovely, lovely results uh, for time lapse, I, uh, I'm gonna go with more simple time lapses for now, uh, until I can, um, until I can carry a really big kit to to shoots, to most shoots. And so, um, okay, so we've, and then the the second one is the adjustment for the speed of the uh, of the actual motor that moves the slider, and that's it. And then a joystick. And um, you do have some other options right here, but um, I'll go into those uh, in the future. These are for the um, for when you're using the the, the pan tilt head. So um, what I'm going to be doing, I'll show you. I'll put this here so you can see what my hands are doing. And uh, okay, so I've turned this to zero, and then I can start. Uh, I plugged this in the wrong place. It's the second time I've done that. Okay. There we are. So I've got this at zero, and then I'm going to hold that, and then I can, uh, you know, I can either just sort of press, press it like this, and get it to sort of start quickly, or I can uh, just use my thumb on the uh, on the speed control. to make it start and stop more gradually. So basically whatever I want. Now this is the 50 to one motor. This is the fastest motor they do. 
uh, as far as I know. And uh, this one isn't what I'm gonna be using because even though this thing does work for live motion, as you can see, this would work if I wanted to do that shot. And uh, that right there is the mechanism that when it reaches the end, it bumps it backwards. So it has a little, a little sensor right there, which uh, pushes it the opposite way once you reach the end of the slider, which I think is, is a really nice system. So if you just hold that in place, it does that. So, uh, okay, so if I wanted to do live motion with this, I could. Personally, I'm gonna be doing live motion by holding the slider using my rotating weight system, which if you haven't seen that video, I'll post the link down below. And then, uh, you know, because I want to be able to control my, uh, my pen and tilt while I'm uh, sliding. So for me, this is not gonna be a live motion thing, but it's just a very, very good compact um, motor kit for, for time lapses. So for those of you that do want to use this for live motion, it is a very good kit for live motion. So really, really lovely. And uh, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using the other motor, which is uh, somewhere. And I'm gonna be using the 1500 to one uh, motor, which is the one that goes really, really slowly. And for me, that's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be for time lapses. So, um, you know, because that, that's gonna be my use for this kit. But it's basically a very, very small compact kit that's really fast to set up and allows me to do time lapses without having to carry a big kit with me or without having to spend a lot of time on setup. And it's just so lovely to use and so compact and tiny. And again, it's so fast to set up. So um, quick note, this is a positive review. And as usual, in my positive reviews, I'll mention that I don't get paid to make these reviews. I just say my own opinions. All my reviews are completely independent. So, um, so if I don't like something, then I, I will say it. And so I just don't have any complaints about this thing. Uh, the, uh, the connections are stronger than the previous, you know, they feel stronger than the previous, um, the previous kit I had, where you have this little box right here, which you'd plug, um, the cables into which like I mentioned in my review it didn't feel that strong so uh, we do have you know pretty strong connections here maybe you know you probably want to unplug it when you put it into the bag to make sure that it doesn't break but but you know pretty good um, pretty all right and then we do have uh, obviously the ability to use the pan tilt head with this and of course you could use this kit with the smart motion controller so you would instead of this you'd get the smart motion controller and um, and you'd get, uh, then you can get the fastest motor and the smart motion controller can just start and stop for time lapses. So uh, if you want to have, if you don't want to carry multiple motors around, which I obviously don't, I'm only going to be using one motor, I'm only, only going to be keeping one motor, the slowest one, but you could just get the fastest motor so that you can do, um, so you can do live motion, which uh, might work slightly differently um, than because you know well it will work slightly differently than this controller for controlling the live motion but if you wanted something that will go this speed that's that's the maximum speed as well as do really 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 slow moves being uh well infinite pretty much infinitely slow if you're using the smart motion controller because it could just wait it can wait for like hours i think before doing the next shot um whereas here you're limited to this the minimum speed so that the minimum speed of this is the slowest you can go uh and the minimum speed is that's about the minimum speed so uh maybe a little bit faster so it goes nice and smooth um so it's not you know you could still do a time lapse with this kit and the fastest motor but uh let me do that slow speed again let me go to the side 
and uh, I'll show you guys how long it takes because uh, you could still do um, a time lapse with the 50 to 1 motor, just not a very long time lapse. So something like that. And, uh, you know, it'd be a very quick time lapse. So it just the time that it takes to go to the end of the slider, you'd get a, I'm not sure how long of a time lapse you'd get. I, I think a few seconds at the most. So I really like this. For me, what it is is, is that it's a really compact uh, time-lapse kit and uh, allows me to just take it with me without having to worry about the weight. And, um, and it's, you know, it connects to my system that I already use. So I'm already shooting with the slider and then I want to do a time-lapse. It's really, really quick to do. So I'm a huge fan of this system. I really like it and um, I'm glad I upgraded. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have links down below. And if you have more questions, so that when I post my full review, uh, I'll you know go over those specific things. Then uh, you know then do ask me in the comments below, and uh, and you know I do also I do answer the comments when you when you write them um, or as soon as I can. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope this video wasn't too long, and I hope you don't mind the background and whatever. That's just a simple mirror video. So um, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. Bye.